Good evening. A friend of the family from Medway says he's not sure exactly what changed so that they could leave Gaza, but he says pressure from the community on the U.S. government likely played a part. This is video of wife Wafa with her one-year-old son Yusuf sitting on a bench next to her and another child in her lap just after the O'Kell family left Gaza this morning. Along with husband Aboud, the family of three from Medway had just yesterday sent another desperate message about being trapped in the war zone with little food or water. It's been, I think, the second or third day that we are able to cure one gallon for all 40 members in the family. The Ocals had repeatedly tried to get out of Gaza, but each time were turned away. Then this morning, a list of U.S. citizens permitted to leave came out, and they were on it. Uh, they're obviously relieved. They're so happy to be out. Uh, but then also a little bit of worry. Family friend Sammy Nabulzi says that's because they had to leave their parents behind, even though Abood's family are also American citizens. At last word, the Ocals had left the Rafa border crossing and along with other freed Americans were on a five-hour bus ride across Egypt's Sinai Desert headed for Cairo. My understanding is they'll be intercepted by U.S. Consular Affairs in Cairo, who will work with them on travel arrangements. And uh, really the next step is we got to get them on a flight to Boston Logan, welcome them back home. Home to Medway. In Medway, the town has been planning a vigil for the Akels this Saturday. The town manager says for now, that's still on. Egypt is not uh, Medway. So uh, if, uh, if they're here in Medway, then we'll, uh, we'll turn it into more of a celebration of their return. Their friend Sammy Nabulzi says he had actually not seen a picture of the Akels since they had been in Gaza until we showed him the pictures from Rafa this morning. He says it's actually hard to see because they look so tired. In Boston, David Beanick, WCVB, News Center 5.